Hello friends, today we are going to talk about Agent TKI product security. So Agent TKI can plan, can decide, can take actions with real world tools. Which means if it, if it goes wrong, the impact is real. In the next couple of minutes, I will show you a simple six layer model of assess the security of any Agent product. products. Before that, why this matter? So we know that traditional app site isn't enough. Now these days the agents can manipulate it. They can generate the ANSAP plans. They can misuse the APIs. So we need a structured way to test everything end to end. Before that, what is an agentic AI? We just need to understand that is as well. So agentic AI, think of it as a loop. A user gives a call to the orchestration. They, the model things, they the agent call tools, those are integrated with that. That is your API, your database, your browser, the results feedback into the loop. So this closed cycle is very powerful, but adds the attack surface here. Now just try to understand those six layers. First is your model and the data layer where we have to check for data poisoning, prompt injections and the sensitivity of the data leakage. We have to run the extra centralized review data sources and fuge prompts. So no high risk leak or poison triggers. Then the second layer is your orchestration where the agent shouldn't hallucinate plans or run forever. Validate all plans with a schema, enforce iteration limits, and test conflicting calls. The main goal is orchestration is predictable and the safe planning. Then third layer is your tools and the API. So this is where agents can cause real world damage. We need to set audit permissions first their inputs and taste what happens if a tool fails. The real testing will be happened here. So we have to configure the list prevalence mechanism and the SAP failure mechanism here with tools and the APIs. Then layer four is your sandbox platform. So we have to set up a, or we have to run the agent in a hard-coded or hardened micro VM or a container itself with the stress CPU, block unknown network calls, and scan images regularly. So while setup, while we are doing the setup for the CICD security check-ins, we have to implement all the one of these tools in between. The main goal in sandbox is to contain the scapped attempts and resource abuses. Then layer five, your identity and the telemetry. So we need to full traceability. Enforce strong authentication between components, isolate sessions, and send logs to the centralized SIM. So the identity and telemetry, the main goal of this layer is for every action linked to a human identity, it should be traceable. Then layer six is your governance and the red teaming exercises. So the policies must block unsafe agent actions. Run red team prompts like your exploitation data and track detection time. This, the governance and red teaming access is the main goal is we need to establish a continuous policy control mechanism. Quick remediation plans. If something goes wrong, how we can remediate those. We need to set up a complete roadmap from inventory to the governance. Because inventory is everything. Then the taste model and the planning layers. Then the fixed tooling and the sandbox risk that is also a, a, your, in your plan. Then the telemetry. We need to build a telemetry and the dashboards with the centralized SIM and the other tools. Those are available or those should be required to maintain a complete CICD pipeline. Then the main part is your governance, red teaming and uh, reporting part. So follow these six days and uh, you get a complete repeatable agentic security assessment.
whether it's a chatbot, it's an automation agent, or multi tool AI worker. If you want the full deep dive on the agent AI product security assessment, drop a comment and I will share the complete deck and I will uh, connect with you. Thank you.